Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you probably know, I've been on vacation. So you've been watching pre-recorded videos for the most part. But now, I am back. And better than ever. Yeah, I did that. Um, I have a haul of all the stuff that I got on vacation. There's like one Blu-ray, the rest are DVDs, some TV stuff. But it's kind of a collection. There's kind of a bit going on here. So I'm going to do it part by part. Hopefully all in one video. Uh, if I talk too much. I'm already talking too much. So I'm just going to get right into it. Not all of this is horror. Not all of it. A lot of it is. Most of it is. But not all of it. And I now remember that I left one we brought it up into my shed to watch last night or the night before and I forgot to bring it back down so I, I, right off the bat I'm missing something it's a movie called Alfred it's like a living doll movie it was, <laughs> it was wild I'll give it that it wasn't the worst I've seen but it wasn't the best I've seen but it was real fun to watch in the shed while partaking in certain Canadian legal substances okay it was good it was good for that but yeah Alfred I left that in my shed okay so I bought that at Walmart for like real cheap anyway I'm gonna start with the, like the cheapest stuff this stuff I got at it's a store Let's see we don't really have thrift stores where I'm to I have to drive three to three and a half hours both ways <laughs> to get to a decent thrift store we have a small Salvation Army full of teacups and moo's and we have a small family aid full of slightly better teacups and slightly more stylish moo-moos. So we really don't have thrift stores. <laughs> so we had to drive all the way to the, the city, the capital city of my province to get this. So there's a store there called Traders. It's like a pawn shop. I don't know if it's a train, a, a train, choo choo. I don't know if it's a chain or not. It's called Traders. It's like a pawn shop, right? So that's where I got these two. Now, I love cheesy family channel type stuff, and I love Goosebumps, and I love R.L. Stein in general. And I remember this one. This I bought for 99 cents. It's R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour, Don't Think About It. I remember this movie quite clearly. This is basically Bye Bye Man, before Bye Bye Man. Yeah, but it makes more sense because these are actual children. So, you know, Bye Bye Man, just... but why do I watch it so often? I've seen the Bye Bye Man like 30 times, and I hate it. Masochist or something. But anyway, yeah, this was 99 cents, so. Also, from the same place, I also love cheesy fucking movies. What year did this come out? Because if this didn't come out in the late 90s, early 2000s, I'll be very surprised. Sur surprised. I don't have time to look, but I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. But I got they, which is also 99 cents. I do believe the chick in this. Is the main chick in this the same chick that dies at the beginning of. Um, the dolls. Dead Silence. Is that the same chick? Also, I think. Mark Belukas is in this, yes, and Ethan Embry. So this is definitely late 90s, early 2000s. But I kind of love this movie, so. Staying with the same store, Traders, this is where I bought my, like, TV stuff, so just give me a sec. I already have volume two, look over there, one and two. So I picked up volume three of Batman the Animated Series for $6.99. And part four of Batman, the animated series, for $6.99. That is my favorite cartoon. <laughs> well, my favorite comic book cartoon is Batman, the animated series, the 90s one. It is epic. I, I just, I could watch through that a million times. I love Batman. I do. I'm not a huge DC girl anymore because the Marvel movies are better. Except I really like the new Suicide Squad a lot, <laughs> which we'll get back to here in a second, sort of. But I, I'm a big Batman fan. I also bought this. This was 30 bucks, but I wanted to see a few of these things, so 
It's like this box set with these three miniseries in it. It has The Outsider, which is a Stephen King thing that I've been looking into. I've been meaning to see. I didn't know they came out with a Watchmen miniseries, but I guess they did. <laughs> I absolutely love the movie, so... And under the sticker here is Chernobyl, which is another HBO miniseries. So I'm looking forward to watching these because I haven't seen these at all. But I was very excited because I do like the Watchmen movie and I've been meaning to check out The Outsider, the Stephen King one, because I'm huge. Hu I just realized. <laughs> I will be forever entertained by my shirt now. Okay. I'm a huge Stephen King fan. Give me. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to another thrift store. Now, I'm sure everybody's heard of this thrift store. Uh, it's, it's the biggest thrift store that we have here where I'm from, where I went, and that's Value Village. I picked up three there. This one is not horror, but this is one of my favorite cheesy movies of all time. I love Gone in 60 Seconds so much. I have memories of a relative of mine who is sadly no longer with us. With this movie, we used to watch this together. He bought me the soundtrack. I love this movie. I absolutely do. Um, I also found, strangely enough, because I didn't think anybody, like, where I live, I'm having hair issues. Oh, the hair's attached to my finger, that's why. Okay, it's not part of my head. Um, I'm very surprised anybody around where I'm to <laughs> would even know what this is, but I found Altered States. These were all $3.99, by the way, at the Value Village. But I found Altered States, which I've never seen, but I've been meaning to, but it's not the easiest to find where I'm to. So I found that, I was like, okay. And this one, um, I actually really love this movie, Red Eye. And I never had it, so I picked that up. Like I say, all $3.99 each. So that's it for the thrift stores and pawn shops and stuff. The next stuff, or at least I think, yeah. The next set I got at Dollarama which is one of my favorite places to buy movies because the DVDs are all 250 I bought Stranger Land, which has Josephines and Nicole Kidman. I think Sheldon picked this one out. I'm not even sure if this is horror or what. It looks like, you know, they're on vacation or something and bad people kidnap them or something like that. Hugo Weaving's also on this by the looks of it, so. Never heard of this, Stranger Land. Might be fun to watch. I think Sheldon picked this out. These are definitely two that I picked out. I found this one called The Caretaker. This looks absolutely terrible. I'm probably gonna watch this tonight. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks absolutely terrible. Really, really, really bad. So I can't wait to see that. And this is my first Sharknado, but it's the fifth one. I don't think you need to watch these in order So I don't think they make sense in order either and that's the fun of them. This movie knows what it is. I mean, come on It's Sharknado. This is Sharknado 5 Global swarming. <laughs> so yeah, I picked that up because it was there And the last place I went to okay, so this is not as long as I thought it was gonna be I kept my mouth shut I didn't really have the back of every movie. That was the deal. That was the deal. That's why this worked. <laughs> The only Blu-ray I picked up was Birds of Prey. I know a lot of people hate Birds of Prey. I love Birds of Prey. I like this version of Harley Quinn. She's the only thing I liked about the first Suicide Squad movie. She's not the only thing I like about the second Suicide Squad movie, so that's why I like the second Suicide Squad movie so much. I thought that was amazing. I thought it was hilarious. It's, it's, it's good. DC, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep hiring James Gunn. Yes, yes, that is how you do this. But I like Birds of Prey. I, I, I love Harley. Um, and these two, oh, yeah. great. The Alfred one, these, these I got at Walmart. The Alfred one is up in my shed. Uh, I picked up Venom. It was in the $8 bin, so I picked up Venom. I didn't have Venom. I know the new Venom is coming out or is out or whatever. I need to see it. <laughs> but I absolutely love this movie. It's hilarious. And... 
this, which I don't even think is in English. Sheldon came home with this. I don't even know what he paid for it. It just has a blank Walmart tag on it. But the back looks absolutely terrible. So I'm excited. And it's an anthology movie, so I absolutely love anthology movies. But it's called Dark Stories. And the back looks hilarious. I don't... I don't know if this is in English or not. Audio. In English. Okay. With French digital stereo. Okay, so it is in English. That's good. Because <laughs> all of the names on the back of here are not. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, Christina Loken is... Yeah, she's from Terminator. Blood Ring. I don't know how that's pronounced right. Yeah. I've never seen Cockneys vs. Zombies. Michelle Ryan apparently is in that. And Dominic Pinon or whatever. City of Lost Show? I don't know. Just look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at that. Like... <laughs> I'm excited for this. Because I think it's going to be ridiculous. So that's all the media I picked up on vacation. I'm sure you guys don't care about the t-shirts and stuff I picked up, but... I went to the Spirit Halloween and I bought a couple horror movie t-shirts. I'm not going to get them, but I got a Scream one that looks like a tarot card with ghost face. And I got I Purged and I Survived a Purge on the back. So I thought that was cool. But that's it. That's it for this video. I'm glad I got through this this quick. And it's really early in the morning and that's why I'm very low energy. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to fill. I'm going to film a Freak Show's Forgotten Films today and that will be up on Wednesday. This video you're watching on Monday. Freak Show's Forgotten Films will be up on Wednesday. I don't know what's going to be on Friday. Maybe a fave fives because I've been working on a few. I've been working on a part two to my wrestling one because I went down a rabbit hole, y'all. I went down a rabbit hole. So yeah, I've been watching some some shit. <laughs> y'all ever hear of a movie? This is not going to be on the list because it doesn't really star a wrestler that I know of. Maybe an indie wrestler or two. But <laughs> I watched a movie called Parts Unknown. What the fuck was that? Oh yeah, there is a wrestler in it. Jake the fucking Snake Roberts is in it. As an alien-ish, swamp creature-ish, glowy dude. He does the voice for. And when I figured this out, let me tell you. <laughs> it was near the end of the movie. And again, partaking in the lettuce of the devil, which is legal in Canada. So, ah. Um... When I was watching this movie, confused as fuck, and suddenly looked at Sheldon and said, Babe? That's Jake the Snake. Our minds went, and we couldn't unhear it for the rest of the movie. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it was great. Anyway, I am going to end this year. I'm rambling like an idiot. It's first thing in the morning. I'm finally back to filming normally. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. It's Freak Show's Forgotten Films time. Time to watch some shitty movies. Okay? Okay? Let's go. Okay. Bye!